What's going on YouTube stands or just anybody who clicked on the video? Thank you. I appreciate you for coming here. Um, we've been trying to revisit some M&M lately and uh, I wanted to revisit the M&M BET cipher. Uh, with all the talk and, and the hate and these jabs uh, in the media against M&M, it kind of all started at this point. Uh, this was kind of the beginning of it when he last showed at Trump. Uh, but it seemed like when he did this, it kind of hurt him with his own fans more, not me, not the real fans, but uh, it hurt with his real, the real fans, or it hurt with uh, his fans more. But I feel like he wasn't praised enough from the hip hop and for doing this, using the platform, and you know, his name is big, it's put in a different light, and he put himself out there when he didn't have to do that. And uh, he did it. I feel like he didn't get the respect he should have. And especially now with the narrative that, you know, black people don't F with him. And, you know, I don't believe that. You know, you like what you like. You know what I mean? It, it's not one race or another race. It just it just doesn't go like that. Yeah, there may be certain people that don't. And that's just the way it is. But there's got to be a respect factor here. And I think with like the P. Diddy, they say that he's influencing the media. And uh, it all kind of started at this point. Before this, Eminem was just rap god and everybody respected it. And no one uh, got out of line with it. And ever since this, people have been going out of the pocket. People have been getting more balls to say it. And... Uh, it kind of, this is the starting point. So that's why I wanted to revisit it. And also this deserves respect. And YouTube channels making these videos and putting the proper narrative out there. We're fighting uh, back against uh, that narrative, which is good. Because all the channels, you, they all show Eminem love. They all show so much respect. And it doesn't matter what color or culture. And I really like that YouTube is behind Eminem. And Eminem helped YouTube out. He helped YouTube. He brought the reaction channel to another game. It's his music that him, you know, uh, mentioning it in the Chloroseptic remix or, you know, just all this shit on Kamikaze. He just brought it up to a whole reactions to a whole nother level. And I know all the channels respect that and appreciate that. So I haven't benefited off it, but as a whole, it has. So let's just revisit, guys. Let's see what's going on. Thank you for being here. Let's get her done, man. Reaction time. Eminem. This was huge when it came out. It's the calm before the storm right here. Because Trump said that. Wait, how was I going to start this off? Storm. I forgot. Oh, yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, but that's all I got till I come up with a solid... He's saying he's going to dump this shit on Donald Trump, his lyrics, his bars, until he finds out, finds another solution for it. For now, this is all he knows is rap. So that's how he's going to give it to him, Trump. He's going to pour that hot coffee all over his fucking lap. <laughs> got a plan and now I got a hatchet like a damn Apache with a tomahawk. I'm going to walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer that every time talks... Cause Trump's like a terrorist, man. She gets a map. Ah, I'ma stop. The reason why he said that, cause he was gonna go in, I think, on his wife, and you know what? He decided, ah, stop. So I think that was the reason for it. That was planned. It wasn't just a screw up on point. This was just something. Okay, in middle of thought, he's gonna stop it. He's not gonna go at the lady, which was probably smart. But we better give Obama props Cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze That'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust And while the drama pops And he waits for shit to quiet down He'll just gas his plane up and fly around Till the bombing stops Love that Love it Talk to me, Em Intensity's heightened Tensions are rising Trump, when it comes to giving a shit You're stingy as I am Except when it comes to having the balls to go against me, you hide them. Because you don't got the nuts like an empty asylum. I like that part. You ain't got the nuts like an empty asylum. You know, nuts, they say they're nutty. 
when they go into the asylum. Uh, that's a dope bar, but I like how Eminem displays his words with his hands. I do the same thing, guys. I don't know if I picked it up from him for the last 20 years, but when I talk, I move my hands. I even notice people staring at my hands a lot. Well, Eminem does that too. It pervades his, his words more. It, it, you know what I mean? And it helps him remember the lyrics because it's like on point. And I do that a lot too, but that's his body movements and helps him with his rapping. Racism's the only thing he's fantastic for. Cause that's how he gets his rocks off and he's orange. That's how he gets his rocks off and he's orange. You know, the rock man, fantastic for simple, simple bar, but dope bar. Yeah, sick tan. <laughs> that's why he wants us to disband. Cause he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells, I came to stomp. That's why he keeps screaming, drain the swamp, because he's in quicksand. Ooh. It's like we take a step forwards, then backwards. But this is his form of distraction. Plus, he gets an enormous reaction when he attacks the NFL, so we focus on that. And instead of talking Puerto Rico with gun reform for Nevada, all these horrible tragedies in these border would rather cause a Twitter storm with the Packers. Guys, you think this is easy to memorize too? He's remembering these all in pace. And you see when he's turning, he's probably getting his thoughts together. Because, you know, a lot of pressure's on here. The whole world's going to be watching it. They're recording. He's got his peers in the back. He's the boss. You know, he needs to put on a good performance and all that. And memorizing, that's a lot of pressure, guys. Then says he wants to lower our taxes. Then who's gonna pay for his extravagant trips back and forth with his fam to his golf resorts and his mansions? Same shit that he tormented Hillary for and he slandered, then does it more from his endorsement of Bannon, support for the Klansmen, tiki torches in hand for the soldier that's blackened, comes home from Iraq and is still told to go back to Africa, forking a dagger in this racist 94 year old grandpa who keeps ignoring our past historical deplorable factors. Now, if you're a black athlete, you're a spoiled little brat for trying to use your platform or your stature to try to give those a voice who don't have one. He says you're spitting in the face of vets who fought for us, you bastards. I like the emotion coming out of him and he's talking true facts and he's sticking that for his country and, and the beliefs of the country. You know what I mean? Eminem's true, man. Unless you're a POW who's tortured and battered because to him, you're zeros because he don't like his war heroes captured. Wow. I can't believe Trump said that. I want to stop. I can't believe Trump said that, man. That's crazy. I don't care who he's going against in the race or candidacy or whatever. For him to say that, that alone should have got him kicked out, I think. That's not disrespecting the military. Yeah. That. This is for Colin. Ball up a fist. And keep that shit bald. Like Donald <laughs> the bitch. Okay. Bald like Donald the... Keep that shit bald, right? But it's a double entendre. Bald like... Keep that shit bald, Trump. I guess he gets the hair shit done. He's half... I don't know. You know what I mean, man. But it's a double play on the word bald. He's gonna get rid of all immigrants. He's gonna build that thing up taller than this. Well, if he does build it, I hope it's rock solid with bricks. Cause like him in politics, I'm using all of his tricks. Cause I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it sticks. I love that. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of- Okay, let's go back to this. So this is the one that Eminem said in Kamikaze that uh, he should have reworded it, and then he reworded it in a way that nobody would have understood it, and the lyricism was so dope. I can't even think of what he said, but he said maybe he should have said it like this instead of the way he said it here, because this is the part that fans had a, a problem with. I never did, and I'm a true fan. I didn't have an issue with it at all. So you know, the, you know what I mean? You know who the real ones are, but let's go. Rewind to the beginning of that part. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand a line you're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. You. 
That's passion. The rest of America, stand up. I'm Canadian, but I'm with you guys. We love our military, and we love our country, but we hate Trump. Yo, dope, man. I'm telling you, I don't know how that got hate. Let's put anybody in front of a camera, in front of that crowd, intimidating, knowing the whole world, this had like 30 million views in one day, the whole world would be watching it, and he performed. And I don't understand, like, you try doing that. You know what I mean? That 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 That's tough. And he performed, and he did it, and I liked it, and I felt it. I liked that I can recite it. Actually, I kind of want to do a little, sometimes I do these little clips of Eminem and I, and I, and I lip sing his songs. I kind of want to do this, man. I might redo this in the underground. I got an underground. I can redo this and I might do that. But anyways, guys, this is nothing but respect. The hate Eminem gets bullshit. So I like to break that down for you guys. And uh, that's when it all started. And we keep pushing this narrative uh, that who Eminem really is. We fight against that. We overpower that machine. And we keep Eminem in his place where he should be. And that's in the upper echelon. So I'm out of here, guys. Thank you for being here. What up, Stans? Thanks to the new subs. I'm Noble. This is Noble Nation. And I'm out. Love you guys.